Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're talking about the 2018 NFL Draft class, specifically wide receiver Michael Gallup out of Colorado State in terms of his production analytics. Uh, now, if you're new to the channel, you're new to the data work that I do, all terms and definitions are going to be in the description, so you can just kind of go there to get a brief sort of definition of things like market share data and stuff like that uh, but that's really what we're going to be talking about today we're not really going to get into athleticism and or age data and stuff like that that i'll leave that for another video uh and just in the future like that's uh, that stuff will come out as we get that information so michael gallup hasn't gone to the combine yet and done anything yet so um, until he does that we, we won't really know about that type of stuff but we do have at least a general idea in terms of what his production data says, and he's one of the more productive wide receivers in this draft class, which is why I wanted to do this video. And he's also a guy that I really like on film as well. So just to kind of prove that I do watch film too, I just do production data as well. Um, so let's get into what passing yardage mark share data is. Uh, it's pretty simple. All you do is you take the best season of a wide receiver, specifically speaking, receiving yardage, you divide it by the team total. Uh, so if a wide receiver has a thousand yards in a four thousand yard passing offense, and that wide receiver had twenty five percent passing yardage market share production, uh, but what you do is you take that number and you compare it to every single wide receiver performance since the nineteen sixty nine NFL draft class, and then boom, you have a way of comparing where the majority of the wide receivers ended up in terms of all pro potential pro bowl potential starter potential and those other sort of areas so essentially you're looking at okay this is where the majority of the all pro wide receivers scored so what is the potential of this wide receiver becoming like those all pro players or those pro bowl players and you basically are looking at the data to kind of look at that it doesn't guarantee that a wide receiver is going to be an all pro player or a pro bowl player there are definitely other variables that go into that such as age such as athleticism those other sort of things but it is at least a trait it's a trait like any other trait that we talk about it's a trait on paper but it's a trait never nevertheless uh and with that out of the way getting into michael gallup um, his passing yards mark share production score is 92.29 out of 100 which hits every single market share production threshold you want. Um, the majority of five-time All-Pro wide receivers had at least a 85 or higher score. Three-time All-Pro had 80 or higher. Three-time Pro Bowl had 68 or higher. And long-term starter had 58 or higher. So when it comes to Michael Gallup, you pretty much hit every single bottom-end threshold, uh, whether you're talking All-Pro wide receivers, Pro Bowl wide receivers, or starter wide receivers. Keep in mind, there definitely is a strength of scheduledness to him that is a little bit off, uh, you know, because he played in the Mount West Conference and he didn't play in the SEC, he didn't play in the Big Ten, but you still want guys to be really, really productive. So despite the fact that his competition wasn't necessarily the best, it's still good for a wide receiver to score 90 plus in any conference that you're talking about. Uh, and then, of course, when you look at the averages at the position, so this is the average All-Pro score, average Pro Bowl score, and average starter score. Uh, Michael Gallup pretty much is within the average of what most All-Pro wide receivers typically hit, which is 92.14, which is the average for All-Pro players. The average for Pro Bowlers is 88.38, and the average for starters is 81.45. So Michael Gallup is well above average and within the range of possibilities of being a potential All-Pro player, a potential Pro Bowl player or even a potential starter, um, which is what you want to hear. You want to hear that a guy has a pretty good shot of being an all-pro player, Pro Bowl player, or a starter. Um, in terms of his film, just to give a general film perspective on him, I like Michael Gallup a lot. I think he's a guy who's a very good route runner. Um, I think he has more speed than you might think, which I think the combine will kind of be interesting to see how exactly how fast he runs and those other sort of things. And I think he has pretty good hands as well. Uh, in terms of body control and just concentration, those other sort of things. Um, so I think overall, when you look at Michael Gallup, again, very productive player, pretty good production analytics. There is question marks in terms of strength of schedule stuff, and I'll probably get into that stuff in another video because that's that's a whole nother topic to kind of discuss. But for the most part, just to let you know, production analytics, Michael Gallup, pretty good, pretty good. One of the more productive wide receivers in this draft class. I highly recommend that you check out his film. 
uh, and those other sort of aspects of him because I think he's a, a general, uh, in general, very, very good uh, wide receiver in this particular uh, draft class. Uh, and, of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And, of course, also check out the 2018 uh, free agency guide uh, with all, specifically about offensive players which is available on amazon.com the link to that is in the description uh, in that guide you will have access to uh, analytics on quarterbacks that are set to hit free agency this year uh, running backs wide receivers tight ends and offensive linemen in that guide so if you want to be more educated about the free agency class that's about to hit in 2018 uh, whether you're talking about players like Drew Brees, Kirk Cousins, Case Keenum, uh, running backs like Le'Veon Bell, uh, Jeremy Hill, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. If you want to know more about those guys, I highly recommend that you purchase that guide. Um, the money from that helps to fund the channel. It helps to fund me uh, in terms of uh, doing this sort of thing. So, you know, if you want to find a way to support the channel a little bit more, uh, buying that guide helps me out a lot, and again, it gives you a lot of information uh, that I think is very, very useful to a fan, to agents, to anybody, really. Um, it just gives you a lot of information that uh, can help you in terms of decision-making uh, in the future about NFL players. And with that out of the way, uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace!